Hello and welcome to another episode of Moon Magic. I am Tracy Hawkner here at Eye of Horus. This is Heather Rowan Robbins, astrologer here at Eye of Horus. And we have come together again. This time we are discussing the new moon in January, uh, in Capricorn, I believe. Yeah? Yes, it is. On January 9th, 7.30 p.m. here in the Twin Cities. And it's a pretty heavy new moon. It is sun and moon in Capricorn conjunct Pluto. They'll have gone over Pluto, the sun about four days before, and the moon a few hours before. But they're all lined up between 15 and 19 degrees of Capricorn. That is intense. Now, the new moon is always a new beginning. And the new beginning here uh, is a wonderful time for us to look at the year ahead. If you want to make resolutions about your year, this is the time they stick. Now, uh, at the beginning of the, the New Year's Eve, everybody's not really in that resolution mode. But this new moon in Capricorn, what structure do we want to add to our life? What discipline? What do we want to cut out? What do we want to build? Because that new moon in Capricorn, Capricorn is the sign of the sea goat. Yeah, it's the mer goat. Yeah, the tail is, swims and the front climbs mountains. So it's how do we swim down to get a dream and then climb to the mountain with our intention. So take it for intention. Now because Mercury is retrograde, and it's retrograde from January 5th uh, through the 25th or thereabouts, and Mercury will retrograde for both this new moon and the coming full moon. And it's retrograde most of the time in Capricorn. And, and it will bring it us to a think back. frustrating. It is. It no, can be. You Capricorn know? likes to be so productive. Mm -hmm. and the Forward motioning. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -mm. But if you have projects to finish, as I said, this oh. is a time to review what's been working and what's not, uh, to clean up, to project, to pay off old bills, to get organized, so that in January we really launch the New Year's work. You know, right before Christmas, everybody was too busy. And now we're kind of reorganizing, remembering what we're doing, reviewing, and preparing. And you digging a foundation, it's like digging the foundation of a house. It looks like you're going down when you want to build up, but that's what you have to do. So this is a month to build foundations and to start that by um, on this new moon. Just notice that you might get a little depressed, you can be a little heavy, can feel like your emotions that might like the shirt's too small that you're wearing um, and breathe into your heart and breathe into one another's heart to, to help keep us uh, supportive rather than focused on the frustrations because Capricorn is such a serious serious sign it is easy to get a little too deep into things mm -hmm. <laughs> a little too detail oriented mm -hmm. a little too progress Heavy. motivated yeah mm -hmm. um, the um, rutilated quartz is a lovely stone to work with at this point. It is, um, it's got those little threads of gold that sparkle within, just to help us remember as we're digging down into this foundation, mm -hmm. as you say, um, silver lining, there, there's, there's, there's gold threads, there's always something sparkly in there to help mm -hmm. keep the mood up, keep us moving, um, keep the vision Keep the vision solid. Um, frankincense is a good scent to use at this point. Um, again, it just helps kind of lighten things up so we don't get too deep in. And then I think the other thing that was really brought to my mind is the uh, Van Van, which is a classic hoodoo formula, uh, generally presented as an oil. Um, we also have spray. it as a spray, if it's you wonderful. like. Um, it's the perfect mercury retrograde remedy makes everything as right as it can possibly be. Because remember with Mercury Retrograde, it's wonderful for many things. It's not a terrible thing. It's great for anything we say begins R-E. Review, remember, uh, reflect, rewrite, yeah. reflect, retreat. Um, there are so many things that you can do with Mercury Retrograde, but pushing forward motion can be difficult. And if you start pushing, you can get tied up in knots and get frustrated. And that's where the van then comes in to help us unknot and let go of those old things that bind us and help us use it in the best way possible. So, you know, and again, remember with Mercury Retrograde, if there is, you start to react emotionally to something that someone has said, stop and go, wait, what did you just say? Did you just mean what I thought you meant? To slow it down and clarify, find, get your information to support it and make it work.
Okay, and thank you and good luck with this. Make those plans for the next year. Build some healthy foundations and find a right way to use your empowerment. Thank you and have a wonderful time. So, beloved fans, thank you for joining us for another episode of Moon Magic. We will be doing this every couple of weeks and you'll want to keep up. Subscribe to videos. If everything's gone correctly, there should be a clickable link here. Subscribe to the videos. The store itself can be found anytime. Iofhorus.biz. Don't lose track of us. Uh, during the videos, we are constantly yattering about uh, candles and stones and oils. Oh my. Stuff can be had and we're not afraid of shipping. Feel free to click on products. Got to have your stuff. Uh, readings. Either myself, Tracy Hawkner, or Heather Roan Robbins, fantastic astrologer. Book a reading. It's fun. Um, and the music you've been listening to, by the way, composed for us by Johnny M. Johnny's music is also available. Important to patronize.